I'm Eric Schoenfeld, uh, co-editor of TechCrunch, and I've got Chris Dixon, the co-founder of Hunch, and angel investor with uh, Founder Collective. We're going to talk today about big news. Uh, Cisco is shutting down their uh, flip camera unit, mm -hmm. which they bought a company called Pure Digital a few years ago for $590 million. It was considered a very successful exit, uh, and yet here we are a few years later, and they're shutting down the company. Uh, like 550 million, 550 people are, yeah. are going to lose their jobs. Um, you know, so what what happened here? Uh, how did how did something like this that was sort of seen as a great success story in startup world all of a sudden just kind of evaporate it? Yeah, I mean, first I think it's sad that they laid everyone off and didn't sell it off the company or maybe keep the best people. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's some kind of tax optimization. I don't know. Like, so they could write it off. I, um, but that just seems to be a shame. And uh, right, maybe so they got a bigger tax benefit than, than it they would possible. Uh, uh, you know, you got to think that they shopped it around, and they. Yeah, it's a shame that, that a lot. Of, it sounds like a lot of great people lost their jobs. Um, you know, the, the I think the second issue. I mean, I think a lot of people I saw tweeting today were talking about how you know, like the Jason Kotke had a post a while ago that was sort of all the companies are going to get killed by the iPhone and these right. new multi-purpose devices. Um, and that, that seems to be sort of the, the prevailing meme today is that this was sort of the iPhone killed them off. I think that's partly true. I also think, you know, it raises the question if, if this company had been independent, would they have had a better chance to have adapted into, you know, in an iPhone world? Um, so I always think of like, for example, uh, Netflix, everyone was saying they're going to get killed by the internet. They were sending stuff through the mail. Uh, you know, they have a brilliant founder, brilliant team. They managed to adapt. They've seemed to be very successfully moving into the internet with the watched instantly things. Had they been acquired by, you know, a blockbuster way back or something, I doubt that would have happened. So, you know, one, one thing here I think is that, you know, within a big company, it's much harder, mm -hmm. I think, for, for uh, products to adapt to the environment. And that may be what happened partly here. Um, and then I think finally, a lot of people have questioned Cisco's uh, kind of consumer acquisition, the, the, all these acquisitions in the consumer in the consumer hardware space, and yeah. this might be you know it, it um, was too far afield, right? Which I agree, and I think I, I mean I think that that uh, kind of kind of focusing more on their enterprise uh, you know businesses is probably the right move ultimately. Um, I do wonder if if. Flip could have survived on its own. I mean, I know that I, I have two flip cameras. I was an early adopter, loved the flip camera. But then as soon as I could start taking videos on my iPhone, I was already carrying my phone with me everywhere. And even though, though the, the videos weren't as good, uh, the quality wasn't as yeah. good, it was just so easy. They were good enough. And then I could also just kind of upload them it's, it's so easy to draw a line through what was happening and then forget that like that 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 great founders don't move linearly. So I'll just mm -hmm. like a counterexample might be sort of Android. Mm -hmm. You take you know what they were building, which is sort of I guess I think it was sort of Sidekick like at the time, mm -hmm. and Google acquired them. Um, right. And you know you could have said oh the Sidekick would have been killed. What Google did was they kept it. They they took this really talented team, kept them independent, gave them resources and flexibility, and they've created an incredibly successful product that's competed directly against the iPhone, or iOS rather, right? Uh, right. You know, so there's also like maybe maybe could they take in this team and given them the right resources in the right direction, they could have done a lot of interesting things. I, you know. Right, if you had a, a Wi-Fi enabled flip camera that was even easier to get the, the video off the camera, either onto your computer or up onto the internet, um, you know, who that, knows what they would have? I mean, right. just just to think of how much Android has evolved over the last five years. I mean, it's just it's dramatic, right? Mm -hmm. This is what a great team can do, um, and it seems like, from what I, my understanding of the pure digital history, there was a phenomenal entrepreneur who had adapted mm -hmm. many times through changes in the environment, right. and probably would have maybe done it again had had he had the you know the resources and flexibility. Right. So, what does this say about you know how we value different outcomes? So, you know, a lot of startups. Um, they kind of, uh, you know, definitely in, as, a, as a journalist, uh, we keep score by the exits, right? Either mm -hmm. you have a huge IPO or more recently it was sort of a big M&A acquisition. And according to that scoreboard, Pure Digital did very well. But for founders, right, they want their, uh, their products to live on and to reach more and more people. So by that measure, it, you know, definitely didn't yeah. didn't reach. That. I, mean, I think a lot of founders. I mean, it just obviously varies by person. Mm -hmm. But if you just look at it, a lot of, for example, second time entrepreneurs, a lot of them are personally wealthy. It, it's mm -hmm. hard to imagine that financial goals are their are their sole goals, right? I, mean, I think a lot of people in the technology world really want to build a product that changes the world and is used by millions of people. Um, and I, I think one of the yeah, one of the interesting things with acquisitions is so much of that is really out of the founders' hands at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you think if you know if if 
you know, if Yahoo had, had 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 merged Flickr into Yahoo Photos, would it still be such a you know such a great website and you know such a and had kept growing and all those other things and uh, you know with my own company we sold to McAfee like the first thing they wanted to do was change everything change the name and they didn't they left it fairly independent and I think that you know was good made us happy that we got to see our product kind of live on in, in, in right. mostly its original form so yeah it seems that the most successful acquisitions are the ones where the teams are uh, left alone and they're uh, yeah they're left alone but also given kind of the resources right. and advantages of the bigger company so right. you know like android was left alone but they were also given google's distribution mm -hmm. and they're subsidized by their search engine and all sorts of advantages they couldn't have had as an independent company so it's sort of finding the right balance i mean youtube's been left alone mm -hmm. but they also benefit from yeah. google's incredible uh, uh, advantage in the advertising market right so they, they were left alone for a while now they're they're much more yeah. okay well thanks a lot for your thoughts sure. and uh you know sad day for uh for everyone who loved the flip.